Djibouti is a country in the Horn of Africa. It is bordered by Eritrea in the north, Ethiopia in the west and south, and Somalia in the southeast. To the east is its coastline on the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Rainfall is sparse, and most of the territory has a semi-arid to arid environment. Lake Assal is a saline lake which lies 155 meters below sea level, making it the lowest point on land in Africa and the third lowest point on earth after the Sea of Galilee and the Dead Sea. Djibouti has the fifth smallest population in Africa. Djibouti's major settlements include the capital Djibouti city, the port towns of Tajura and Obok, and the southern cities of Ali Sabia and Dakil. It is the 46th country by area in Africa and 147 st largest country in the world by land area, covering a total of 23,200 square kilometers, of which 23,180 square kilometers is land and 20 square kilometers is water. Djibouti shares 125 kilometers of border with Eritrea, 390 kilometers with Ethiopia, and 60 kilometers with Somalia. It has a strategic location on the Horn of Africa and the Bab el Mandeb, along a route through the Red Sea and Suez Canal. Djibouti's coastline serves as a commercial gateway between the Arabian Peninsula and the Horn region's interior. The country is also the terminus of rail traffic into Ethiopia. Djibouti can be divided into three physiographic regions the Northern Mountains Grand Bara, the Southern Mountains, the Gota Mountains, a great arc of mountains, consisting of the Mosa Ali, Gota Mountains, and Array Mountains, surrounds Djibouti. Djibouti has eight mountain ranges with peaks of over 1,000 meters. The Grand Bara Desert The Grand Bara Desert covers parts of southern Djibouti in the Arda region, Ali Sabia region, and Dakil region. The majority of the Grand Bara Desert lies at a relatively low elevation, below 1,700 feet. Home of the popular Grand Bara Footrace. Most of Djibouti has been described as part of the Ethiopian xeric grasslands and shrublands ecoregion. The exception is a strip along the Red Sea coast, which is part of the Eritrean coastal desert. It is noted as an important migration route for birds of prey. Map of the regions of Djibouti. The area of the regions of Djibouti is set out in the table below. The rainfall of Djibouti There is not much seasonal variation in Djibouti's climate. Hot conditions prevail year-round along with winter rainfall. Mean daily maximum temperatures range from 32 to 41 degrees Celsius, except at high elevations. In Djibouti City, for instance, Afternoon highs, April typically range from 28 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius in April. Nationally, mean daily minima generally vary between sites from about 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. The greatest range in climate occurs in eastern Djibouti, where temperatures sometimes surpass 41 degrees Celsius in July on the littoral plains and fall below freezing point during December in the highlands. In this region, relative humidity ranges from about 40% in the mid-afternoon to 85% at night, changing somewhat according to the season. Kuban climate types of Djibouti Djibouti has 988,000 people live there. Djibouti has either a hot semi-arid climate or a hot desert climate, although temperatures are much moderated at the high elevations. On the coastal seaboard, annual rainfall is less than 5 inches, in the highlands, it is about 8 to 16 inches. Although the coastal regions are hot and humid throughout the year, the hinterland is typically hot and dry. The climate conditions are highly variable within the country and vary locally by altitude. Summers are very humid along the coast but dry in the highlands. Heat waves are frequent. Annual precipitation amounts vary greatly from one year to another. In general, rain falls more frequently and extensively in the mountains. Sudden and brutal storms are also known to occur. Wadis turn for a few hours into raging torrents tearing everything in their path, and their course is regularized. Rainwater serves as an additional water supply for livestock and plants alongside seasonal watercourses. The highlands have temperate climate throughout out the year. The climate of most lowland zones is arid and semi-arid. The climate of the interior shows notable differences from the coastline. Especially in the mornings, the temperature is pleasant, it is so in Arda, Rhonda and Day. Djibouti City Tajura Obok Ali Sabie Aralof Dakil Arda Dora Holyola Lele Dada Yaboki Graphically the seasons can be represented this way, the Array Mountains is seen from Ali Sabie. The southern part of the Bora Mountains. Lake Asal is the lowest point in Africa. Grazing Camel in Ali Sabie Region. Land Use, Arable Land, 0. 1% Permanent Pasture, 73. 3% Forest, 0. 2% Other, 26. 4% irrigated land, 10 square kilometers water is becoming a scarce resource in Djibouti due to climate change, 
which leads to different rainfall patterns as well as to inefficient methods of distribution within the country. Most of Djibouti's rainfall is in the four months, but over the last 25 years, the Djibouti's Ministry of Environment estimates that rainfall has decreased overall between 5 and 20 percent. It is predicted that in future years, there will be higher temperatures, lower rainfall, and longer droughts, leading to even less access to water. Moreover, seawater intrusion or fossil saltwater contamination of the limited freshwater aquifers due to groundwater overexploitation affect those who live close to the coastline. In recent years, population growth has increased rapidly with the addition of many refugees. Unlike much of the Horn of Africa and Middle East which is rich in lucrative crude oil, Djibouti has limited natural resources. These include potential geothermal power, gold, clay, granite, limestone, marble, salt, diatomite, gypsum, pumice, petroleum. Natural hazards include earthquakes, drought and occasional cyclonic disturbances from the Indian Ocean, which bring heavy rains and flash floods. Natural resources include geothermal energy. Inadequate supplies of potable water, limited arable land and desertification are current issues. Djibouti is a party to international agreements on biodiversity, climate change, desertification, endangered species, law of the sea, ozone layer protection, ship pollution, and wetlands. The Republic of Djibouti Maritime Borders Djibouti has a coastline which measures about 314 kilometers. Much of the coastline is accessible and quite varied in geography and habitats. Satellite images of Djibouti during the night. The population of Djibouti in 2015 was 846,000. For statistical purposes, the country has three areas, Djibouti City, Ali Sabie, and Dikil. Djibouti's population is diverse demographically, 60% Somali, 35% Afar, and 3% Arabs. In terms of religion, 94% Muslim, 6% Christian. This is a list of the extreme points of Djibouti, the points that are farther north, south, east or west than any other location. Thanks for watching.